A familiar scene at the traditional royal family church service at Sandringham, but without the Duchess of Cornwall, who has injured her back. Later this afternoon, in her Christmas message, the Queen will reflect on her visit to see the ceramic poppies at the Tower of London. The tribute to World War I casualties, she will say, was a reminder of loved ones left behind. As lives continue to be lost in Africa, she will also praise the UK's contribution of aid and expertise in the fight against the deadly Ebola. The efforts of those who have treated victims, she will reveal, has deeply touched her. The Dean of Canterbury stepped in for the Archbishop, who cancelled his sermon because of a severe cold. The Most Reverend Justin Welby was expected to talk about how the spirit of Christmas could not be captured in fairy tale endings. The First World War Christmas truce in 1914, he was due to say, was a one-day wonder. In his traditional Christmas Day address, Pope Francis condemned the deadly attacks on schoolchildren in Pakistan and highlighted the minorities fleeing brutal persecution. Yesterday, in a surprise phone call to refugees in Iraq, he urged them to persevere. They are, he said, close to his heart.